All right, this section of the notes continues where we left off with our intro to acids and bases. So if you haven't seen that one, please go back and watch that because um, we talked about the Arrhenius definition of acids and bases. And acids were um, H plus donors and bases were hydroxide donors. So with the evolution of quote unquote technology in the early 1900s um, and the identification of new substances that could be aqueous, we had to come up with some new definitions. So we broadened what the definitions of acids and bases are. And that was with the work of two um, scientists, the uh, Bronsted and Lowry, um, where we have our Bronsted-Lowry definition of acids and bases. Okay, um, so this is modified from Arrhenius. Um, very similar, but modified. Bronsted-Lowry said that you can donate an H plus ion, which essentially is just our proton, so that's pretty much the same. And the Bronsted-Lowry base is an acceptor of the H plus ion. So that is a major difference from Arrhenius. The Bronsted-Lowry definition for acids and bases is what we are primarily going to use as our working acid-base definitions. Okay, um, with our acids and bases and the identification of more and more of these substances is where we start talking about poly versus monoprotic acids. Okay, poly meaning many, protic meaning H's, the proton, mono meaning one, and proton that is able to be donated. So a polyprotic acid has more than one acidic hydrogen, and the monoprotic acid only has one. So examples of these are going to be um, some of your oxy acids with your phosphoric acid being H3PO4. It has three acidic hydrogens. Carbonic acid is H2CO3. Sulfuric is also H2SO4, so it has two acidic hydrogens. Only the first one is the strong acid, though. And the second one that would be there from the HSO4 or the bisulfate ion, that one would weakly dissociate. Um, so it's really only counted as the first one, but there are two available. Um, a monoprotic, however, only has one. So that's an important um, thing to address at this point as well. Um, just how when we talk about everything in terms of protons, we also can talk about everything in terms of electrons. And that's where we start getting into um, Lewis acids and bases. Do you remember our friend Lewis who did the Lewis dot structures? Yeah, the Lewis dot structures use dots to represent the electrons. Well, guess what? You could talk about acids and bases in terms of electrons as well. A Lewis acid is a substance that is going to be an electron pair acceptor. So it is going to accept something negative because, in essence, it is going to donate something positive. Okay, but this allows for us to broaden the definition of an acid by having something that doesn't even contain hydrogen. Okay, so it widens the definition for non hydrogen containing compounds. So that makes it real nice for us to use. And then our base would be an electron pair donor. Obviously, our acid-base definitions are always going to be opposite of one another. Okay, so please star circle highlight this slide right here because this actually really nicely summarizes what we have. If you need to, push pause, um, take a screenshot, whatever. Um, but this um, summarizes all of our acid-base definitions really well. Arrhenius was the H plus donor and the OH minus donor. 
Bronze said Lowry has our protons, or you can think of it in terms of H plus also, so that's okay. Um, uh, where we are going to donate and be able to give those, and the acceptors means that we are going to receive the H pluses. And then Lewis is going to take our electron part. So if it's a positive donor, it's going to be a negative acceptor. If it's going to be a negative, ex a positive acceptor, it's going to be a, sorry, whew, rewind. If it is going to be a positive acceptor, it's most likely going to be an electron pair donor. So this is the most um, fine-tuned of definitions, um, and this is the most broad of definitions. So we usually reside somewhere in between. For what we're going to do in Honors Chem, we're going to talk about our Bronsted-Lowry definitions. Okay, so that is our assets and bases definitions.